Welcome back, welcome back. So in this installment of the vehicle development series, we'll be taking a look at how to change textures as well as optimizing them for your server. So uh, for this video in particular, I've chosen the 2009 Chevy Corvette CR1. Um, by this guy, I'm not going to pronounce his name. Same reason as the last video, I don't want to butcher his name. Um, now, the way we'll do it is we'll start off by replacing a texture in this scenario it's going to be the, the cr1 in the center console here i'm going to make this be my actual uh, discord logo um, and then after that we'll go ahead and optimize it so what i'll do first is i will quickly load into my server and then we'll take it from there so i'll catch you back when i'm on my server all right so now that i'm on my server i'm going to take a first initial look at the vehicle uh, before i go ahead and alter the actual textures for it so, open up my V-menu, I spawn in the car, there you go, this is it, nice looking model. So, what I'll be replacing is the center console piece right there. Now, the way we're going to do that is we're going to need a few different things. So, uh, you just want to close down your game essentially when you're doing this, because you have to restart your server for the effect to actually take place. So, I close down my fiber. I now open up OpenIV. You allow it to run. You go ahead and find the actual vehicle itself. There you go. You want to turn on edit mode. And you're going to go into the stream folder. Then you'll open up the .ytd. Now, we're looking for that one specific texture that says CR1. It might be this. We'll keep it in mind at least, just so we've got them. Mm. Judging by everything that I'm seeing in it, this should be it. So, the way we're actually going to retexture this is that we're going to export it. I'll just put it inside the actual folder itself here. So, I click save. Actually, you want to export this as a PNG. Uh, because the program I use, which is called Krita, it doesn't actually accept uh, .dds's. So, you just save as type, and then you choose PNG. And you save. I'm now going to open up Krita. Now, I'll leave a link to Krita in the description. Um, I'm going to do the exact same thing for what we're going to use to actually optimize the vehicle. So, now that we're in here, we're then going to find the PNG that we saved. Let me just get this into details. There you go. Now I can just delete the DDS since I don't need that. So I've got this right here. Drag it in. So you can also use Photoshop for this as well. Um, any kind of uh, editing software works just fine. So what I'll go ahead and do now is I will find the texture that I wish to use, which is, in my case, my Discord logo. I'll put this in. There you go. Now this is just as a proof of concept uh, that this is how it works so i'll just go ahead and stretch this out make sure that it's fitting in the corners here like that and then make sure it's going all the way down here too should be fine all right what i'll go ahead and do now is i'll go ahead and save this oh just overwrite this yeah uh, you want to make sure the texture name is the exact same the overriding is by far the simplest way to make sure you're actually doing that. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna head back to OpenIV. You're gonna select the texture here. I'm gonna click replace. I'm just gonna replace it with my own texture. Now I'm gonna do save. Go on, just like that. All right. So what I'll go ahead and do now is I'll open up my TX admin. I'll restart my server. Just like that. Let's look at the actual command prompt here. It's not sure about 5M, there you go. <clears throat> all right. Yeah. Turn off all of my stuff and turn on whatever it is. Turn on, there you go, and then turn off my 
think you should or NB. Now, if I replace the correct texture, now the central console should so show my actual Discord logo instead of the CR1 logo. So, loading back in here. Let's put it back in. I thought I fill it. CR1. Now, you can see the texture changed. I think I have to actually get out. You can see it more clearly. Now, so I clearly messed up uh, somewhere along the way of actually resizing it. So if I go back here, I can see that I'm only supposed to take up a bit of space right here. So the way this should look is probably something along the lines of... I'm actually going to stretch it out too. It's not going to look too pretty. But if you do something along the lines of this, um, it should then show the entirety of the actual SSN Max and development uh, logo. Um, now, I'm not actually going to put this in the server. Um, this is more proof of concept, as I said, that this is how you do it. Um, most textures you see on a car, you can actually replace. Um, hell, I even think you can replace the Corvette here. You should be able to because it's not a 3D texture. Um, so you should be able to replace the Corvette texture there too. Now, as far as optimization goes, we're going to need a second program called Toolkit V. Can I launch that real quick? Can I pull it? If I can actually find it here. Just gonna find it through my actual folder then. I have my, what do you have? Toolkit V. Open up Toolkit V.exe. Now, now that this is open, or the textures folder, you are going to find your vehicle. In my case, it's the CR1. So kind of select the stream folder. For backup, um, I just like keeping backups of every single texture I do. Now, I've got a folder called Toolkit YTD Backups. Um, you always need to select a backup folder, whether you're just going to delete everything inside of it regardless. Um, so. If for the optimization size or optimize size, um, it's also giving you a brief description of what you want to do. So, for optimize size, you choose anything you like, basically anything that you get if you multiply 512 by 2. So, 512 uh, times 2 is 1024, 1024 times 2 is 2048, 2048 times 2 is 4096, and then obviously 496 times 2 is 8192. Um, now, what I like to usually do is just I just put this to 2048. That's a pretty good place to start. Um, and then you want to take the only oversized textures dictionary. Um, downsize, keep that on. Format optimization, don't pick that on. Yeah, what you can do is if you want to, you can press analyze and then you will see the actual uh, file size you're not going to optimize. Now, to optimize, it's quite simple. You just press optimize. So. Let's head on to our TX7. I'm gonna go ahead and do CR1. Restart it. So now it's showing up as yellow. Um, it's also saying um, that it's well, it, it's kind of in quotations saying it's oversized. Uh, in the way that it's saying oversized assets can and will lead to streaming issues, models not loading, flash rendering, commonly known as texture loss or city bug, where streaming isn't great. Now you want to get this to be blue. I've got plenty of vehicles in my server as blue. Um, I've even got rims in blue. I've got these uh, wheels, I think it's just port rims. Um, RS050RR.YDR. Um, the YDRs, we're not really to talk about. Uh, but they're in the blue. Um, a texture turns blue as soon as it's below 32 megabytes, or at 32 megabytes, which you can also see here. So, um, that brought it down a lot, as you can see here, it optimized it 51.56%. We'll hit it again. Hit it by 14.52 this time. We'll put in CR1, or C01. Mm, check our prompt here. So, now we brought it from 62.3 to 53.3. Um, obviously, that's not changing it a whole lot, so we'll change this to 1024. We'll optimize it again. Brought it on an additional 
QCs here on. I just put a cow on, that's nice. Alright. And now it's a 28.1 megabytes of physical memory. Now this is in the blue. This is technically optimized. Now, you could just, if you're lazy, optimize them like this. Don't double check the textures. Now, I do actually suggest you do uh, go check the textures. So the way we'll do that is we'll quickly restart our server. Launch 5M again. Make sure these servers up and running before we try to connect. There you go. Do whatever we need to do while we're loading in. to load in now. There. Good. Alright. So, we'll just do a restart CCR1 in here again. Just to double check. So, 28.1 megabytes of physical memory. And we'll go ahead and spawn it in. There you go. Now, the vehicle looks normal, and that's how it's supposed to be. If we go inside here, some textures might be worse, and um, everything looks fine. Like, nothing is like miscolored or anything. Everything looks good. Now, something like carbon fiber is a pretty clear way to see if what you. Okay, interesting. Um, but yeah, something like carbon fiber is something you'll easily see turning kind of like mushy uh, just because it, it, it's such a fine texture. Uh, but in our case here, the carbon fiber actually looks perfectly fine. And you've got the perforated material on the doors, looks fine. You've got everything inside the car looks fine. The seats look fine. Again, none of the textures are messed up. Nothing messed up. So that's good. Now, what you can do from this point forwards is just as soon as you're done with that. Uh, now, to actually make sure that it gets put into the server properly, you just, you know, name it whatever you want to. Uh, if you just want to leave the spawn code as is, that's fine. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete these files real quick because you don't need them in here. Uh, those are just the, uh, the textures that I changed. So what you can do now is you can just right click it, then to compress zip folder, or you can just, you know, zip. Um, and that's basically all there is. Um, if you have any kind of problems with anything, uh, questions, concerns, you know, you know the drill. Uh, join my Discord. The link to the Discord should be in the description. Um, I'll also go ahead and link everything I've used here. So I'll go ahead and link the vehicle. I'll go ahead and link Toolkit V. I'll also go ahead and link uh, Critter too. Critter is free. Uh, which is why I use it, um, and it's basically a, in my eyes, a bootleg type of version of Photoshop. Um, it can do essentially all the same things, and you can find, you know, hundreds of tutorials on YouTube uh, if you're having any issues with anything. So yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, yeah, as I said, any questions, join my Discord, ask, or do it in the other comment section. It's completely up to you. Bye-bye. Okay.